What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad everybody can make it. Beautiful day. We got something new for you. You guys already know my van straight piped. Um, my handicap van, my Sienna straight piped. Um, no cats, just straight piped. Uh, right now I'm just running a regular air box with a, with a can and filter. Uh, but I got something special for you guys today. We got the Weapon R short ram intake. Um, I ordered it from Van Culture. Um, I like a lot of their stuff. Um, I have a lot of their hoodies. Um, but today we're going to be throwing that on and seeing what difference it makes. Um, we got it flowing good. I eventually want to order, I'm going to order a wide pipe from them. Um, and possibly the headers as well. Um, but can't wait to see what it sounds like. I know it's going to look a whole lot better. Um, and let's just, let's just dive right into it. Here's the kit. We have the air filter. It's pretty badass looking. We got the pipe. That's, that's their patented velocity stack that they claim. And then just the hardware. Um, for some reason, when I ordered it off of Van Cultura, it showed it coming with the um, heat shield but I didn't get the heat shield. The instructions that came, this came straight from Weapon R. Um, it said it was uh, no air shield upgrade item, but you put that part number in on Weapon R's website, it comes up with the heat shield. So I contacted Van Culture. Um, they said that they were out of stock um, and as soon as oh, they're back ordered and as soon as they get one in stock they're going to send out someone out to me so I had to install that after I get it um, but this is I mean this is gorgeous so let's jump right into it I right, guess this is where we're at I removed the intake little thing I uh, removed the air box uh, the hose um, I got these vacuum hoses that they give us a connector for. I got to take my engine cover off to get to this big vacuum hose um, that goes onto the pipe. I got the mass airflow sensor disconnected. Had to move my battery out the way. I, yeah, I run a yellow top um, just because it's a handicap conversion van and it's got so much electronics. Um, the only thing I'm not really sure of um, and this wasn't in the instructions or, or says anything about it is on this side of the air box it has that plug um, and has a couple extra vacuum hoses uh, they're not in the diagram um, and they're not on the video that weapon R um, puts out for this um, so I'm not really sure what that's for. I imagine it's something for this, but I'm not really sure. So we're going to just go ahead without it and see what happens. But let's continue. All right, guys. Well, there she is. Tight fit. I don't know if it's because of my the way they have my van situated um, or not, but she's installed. Let's do the first cold start and see what happens. Hope everything goes good. All right guys, so we're all done with the install. It went super smooth, super easy. Um, shout out to Van Culture. Um, they're gonna send me a heat shield once they come back in stock. Uh, but now I'm gonna show you um, some before and after clips of it cold starting, of it, um, some revs and driving normally and then um, ripping on it a little bit. Um, so, again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you if you uh, like, subscribe, check out my other videos, and enjoy, guys. Alright, here's some of the K&N filter. 
get stuck here, but... Alright, so this is a cold start. <laughs> 